What's up folks, Zepho TBS back again. Gonna do a little recent pickups, got a few things to show. Not a whole heck of a lot, but you know how good I am at stretching uh, not a lot of cards into a really long video. So, as usual, foregoing the ramble, getting started. The first three cards, I will say, I may have shown before. So, if you've seen them before, just bear with me. It's only three cards that I'm not sure I've, I've shown. These first two, I may have shown in the last video, and I'm not 100% sure on that. But, from, what was this, 99 or 98? Yeah, 99. Invincible. This is the red uh, parallel. Can't really see it. It's hard to see. Lighting's horrible, and I'm sorry. Um, well, you can see a little bit of red foil up there. But, um, these don't pop up that often. Pretty rare as far as, you know, just availability. Uh, not an expensive card. I won it on auction. There were several bids, but it didn't like it didn't go high. Um, next one from 97 Tops. This is also a variation, a variation you don't see very often either, and many sellers probably don't know that they have it. But this variation this is going to sound so crazy. This is the extra fireworks. Yeah, I do have the regular and. Actually, you know, now that I'm talking about this, I think I did show this in the last video. But I have the regular version and then this version too, but there's more fireworks on this one. Um, just one of those weird little things. I don't know if every player had one, but Juan did. And this is the third one. I'm pretty sure I haven't shown this. I think I just showed it in a group, but if I did, I'm sorry. Um, this is cool. From 99 Top Stars and Steel, this is the... Uh, Gold domed holographic version. Nate, I know you've seen this one before because we've had conversations about it. Very cool card. Look at that shine. Like that's that's ridiculous. These are freaking awesome. They fetch a premium. They're very cool. And uh I challenge anyone to get this thing into a top loader, actually just getting it into a penny sleeve try that I swear you will opt for the uh, the magnetic instead but that is a cool card and I think it did it more justice with me taking it out of the bag which I should probably start doing with all my stuff but I don't know next up this is cool from 90 score and this is kind of an oddball but some of y'all may remember the company Scoreboard. They did a Juan Gonzalez. It's like a plaque. It's autographed. They did 1,990 of these in honor of his 1990 rookie year. That's a freaking thicky. That's really cool. This is card number 413 of 1990. You can see it up there. They're uh, hand serial numbered, hand numbered. But that's cool. Just got that one in, I don't know what, last week, I think, last weekend. Then this one, this one's awesome. This will do it for the autographs, I think. No, it won't. I've got one more. These are freaking awesome. From 99 Century Legends, Epic Signatures, there's a gold variation of this, or gold version. Um, and they command a lot of money. These do too, actually. This is just a cool set, and this was a short print in that set. But very cool. Don't pop up that often. I've missed out on four auctions. And I finally got one. So that is that. What should I show? I want to end with the inserts. You know, it, this is the most low numbered of all of them, but I don't even care. I really don't. Um, it's nice. I like it. I won't buy any other versions of this. I just wanted the patch version. Just It's just nicer, and I like it. Number 6 of 10 from 2017 Triple Threads. Part of the nameplate. Let's get that in there. Mm. Should have taken this one out of the bag, too. This came from Platinum Card Breaks. Hit this in a break. Threw it on eBay. And I want it. Paid a good amount for it, but I want it. So, I'm happy. Only four have hit the bay. I missed out on the first three. Um, 
the two before the one that I bought ended ridiculously cheap. One was because of time. One was because of the day that it ended on and the time. And then I will say this. I paid for that double what the previous two ended for. If you add the two together, it that still went for a little more. I mean, it's just crazy. And that was on auction. So what do you do? This one, uh, we're actually going straight inserts now. The rest of it's all inserts. This is from Tan Man, the baseball fan, or Tan Man baseball fan. This is the uh, 2000 Crown Royal. This is the uh, proof, but this is the no numbered variation. These are normally clear, but I put a, uh, I put a dummy behind it because I'm OCD. And these things are super thin. They're like as thin as like film strip paper. Like it's actually probably more thin than that. But this thing would just fly all around the inside of the, of the mag. And I wanted it in a mag, so I got a dummy in there. That is very nice. Awesome. That gold box right there, it actually says Crown Royale Proof. And there would normally be a serial number in there, and there's not. There are only five of these available, five sheets. These are cut. These are very cool. There is a, like, there's a Crown Royal Proof, Crown Royale Proof, that's numbered to 50. This is, like, a step up variation of that. Almost like a backdoor kind of thing, bankruptcy type deal. But really cool. And then this from 2000 Flare Ultra. It's the Platinum Medallion die cut. This is out of 50. It's numbered A, no, numbered 3 of 50. It's very nice. Light's hitting that good. I'm happy. Then this. Love these. This is probably, man, if this isn't my favorite die cut set, this is probably top two or three, if it's not my favorite. I just love them. They're so cool. I don't know. I could just sit here and look at these cards for a long time. This is the number five for 589 from uh, 98 Elite, the prime number set. These are so cool. This is 150 of 589. I think only the first 500 were die cut. But they're so cool. They really are. So that's the five. I already had the eight. This one's numbered out of 80. Actually, it's number 44 of 589, but the first 80 were die cut. So we got the five, the eight, and we need the nine. The nine is only numbered out of nine. There are only nine of them available. I may, uh, I may get one at some point, and I may not ever see it. I don't know. And one has yet to pop up. I've seen two other people that have one of the nine. So, either they just don't pop up. And then this, this has been a very, very popular card as of late for showing off and acquiring in the uh, 90s insert group of uh, mine and Nate's. These are so cool, and they are gorgeous. They really are absolutely gorgeous. But uh, from Donruss Limited, 97. This is the Star Factor. Um, the Limited Exposure. I mean, these are gorgeous, too. Just a phenomenal-looking card, front and back. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Gonzalez on both sides. He had three different, three different limited exposures. One with Brant Brown on one side, and then Gonzalez on the other, and then one Mark Kotze, 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 whatever, on the other, um, and then this one. But the print runs on these. Um, for everything I've read and everything I've heard, it's less than forty. So very cool on that, and that'll do it. That is it. That's all I've got. Haven't been bringing in a whole lot. Um, just, like I said, I'm kind of in this lull right now. But I'll snap out of it. And I'm just kind of having to take a break. Focus more on family. Focus more on the things in life that actually matter. 
because I got out of hand for a while, and uh, me and my wife had a talk about it, and I just decided on my own, on my own accord, that I just need to back up for a while and just not, just kind of disconnect from everything, and that's what I'm doing. So I'm kind of in the midst of that. Y'all, it's no offense intended whatsoever if I'm not around very much. Um, if I'm really late on commenting, or if I don't comment at all, just bear with me. I'm watching where I can, and what I mean by that is, like, if there's really nothing else that I should be doing, or nothing else that I could be doing, then, like, lunch break. I try to catch up on vids at lunch, but if there's something else that I could be doing, or something else that I need to be doing, like spending time with... Ella or spending time with Lily or just spending time with Teresa, um, you know, family stuff, things that truly matter in this world, that's what I'm doing. And uh, it's probably a good time to do it because, I don't know, YouTube's going through this weird thing right now where there's not a whole lot of activity in this community. So um, for those of y'all that are still active, still making videos all the time, please bear with me. Don't be upset, you know, um, don't take offense to it. Um, I'm watching your vids where I can, I promise you, I promise you, I give you my word, people say that, but I truly do, I truly mean it, and uh, I love you guys, but I, I've got to focus more on family and things that are important, so, you know, I know we all respect that, and uh, I don't question y'all respecting that at all, I'm sure you do, because uh, many of y'all have families, and many of y'all have jobs, and things that are important also, so, um, my focus just got out of hand as of my own doing, and I just had to back away. But 12 minutes, there goes the ramble, uh, two and a half minutes of rambling. But I hope you all have a great week. I love every one of you. Be good, be nice, and I'll talk to you later. Love you guys.